Hello everyone and welcome back to Crypt of the Necro Dancer. So I ended up playing through hardcore mode and beat it as the bard just to see what the other two characters that you can get are. Those two characters are Arya, who has a dagger only, dies in a single hit, or dies on a missed beat. Would you like to continue? No. Yeah, sure. So this is Arya. And we're going to do a very quick run with her. Alright, that was Arya. And then you have Bolt. Player and enemies move double time. Would you like to continue? Sure. So you can see the beats move a lot faster. So see how far we can get with Bolt. You know, Bolt does start with a spear, though, apparently. And then I just got a rapier. Do I want a rapier? I don't think so. I think I'd actually rather have the, the spear. I'm almost dead. Let's see what the shopkeeper has. Uh, do I want any of this stuff? No. All right, let's go, let's go and see how far we can get in the next level. I'm gonna say probably not that far. All right then. <laughs> you wanna go back to Arya? Let's go back to Arya. All right. Let's see, let's go to... Let's go back to Bolt. Yeah, Arya seems like it, it just an insane nightmare. Let's start on... Yeah, that's, that's just to go back from the start. So there's really not much left to do in this build of the game, now that I beat Hardcore Mode. You, didn't, you don't miss anything. All Hardcore Mode is, is you start with the two hearts, and you battle all through the three zones without ever going back to the lobby. Uh, and I just ended up doing that and unlocking these two new characters and there's nothing else to really do so I don't think there's gonna be much more of the crypt videos just because I don't have anything to really show here we go Alright, you gotta get the shopkeeper his time. Especially since we missed him in the last episode. Mmm, bronze sword? Nah, I'll take spear. Man, keeping a coin multiplier on this is pretty nuts. Jeez. I just ah so fast. I mean, in, in theory, I, I do like this mode because it's 
exactly like the opposite of what you want in a roguelike because you got to kind of move around and think about your what well, your moves and this forces you to be the exact opposite oh shit ah so fast oh that's so fast all right let's just try cadence yeah let's let's try cadence When I get next to a creature, I just want to, like, spam to kill it. No, no. Ah. Darn it. I'm not doing too good here. <laughs> At least I'm still alive, but I'm not really getting any kind of coin multipliers. I guess that's okay. Find out where the shopkeeper is, though. Ah, yeah, fireball. Oh, well, let's go downstairs. I wonder if replacing the songs with my Custom songs messed up the latency stuff. Oh, it seems like it's off a little bit. Or that could just be me sucking, I'm not sure. Like I said, there's really not much else to show. I suppose we can jump into a daily challenge. But if I, if I do that, I would want to do it as the bard. Oh, right. That's right. You can only do it as... Uh, okay. Daily Hardcore Challenge. This is going to go great. thing left that I have not even tried out was hardcore mode seeded but I imagine yeah you just need to type in a seed though um, 
There we go. I like to play. Ah, ah. Ah. Yeah, Kryptonite Echo Dancer, the proest player ever. Let's just skip to zone three. That's a cool music in zone three. I'm just trying to be fast about it. And there we go for being fast. Um, yeah, because the thing is, like, I really don't know what else I can show you. I've kind of shown you everything as there is isn't. No, I have not done the tutorial, have I? If I'm gonna survive this, I'll have to remember what Uncle Eli taught me. Oh, Theo. Every opponent has a predictable pattern, he said. Learn that pattern and you won't suffer so much as a scratch. Oh, you know what? The guy didn't move at all, and this blue one just moves up and down, so if I attack him from the side, I'll never be hurt. I do remember this. I think they force you to do this when you first start the game. <laughs> Broadsword. Not as sharp as I'm used to, but I bet it can still take out three enemies in one shot. That's right. Looks like those skeletons put their hands in the air when they're about to jump. If I'm in the way when they move, then it's gonna hurt. So there you go, some voice voice work. And then this takes us to the lobby, I guess? Yeah. Oh, this just jumps you into the game. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that's that's really it. That's uh, all that crypto the next dancer has to offer right now. I'm really eager to see what else they develop for this game. I really enjoyed my time with it, but I think this is gonna be the last video. All that I really have left to do, or that I can't do, is just trying to get a faster hardcore run and Honestly, having the fastest time doesn't really interest me that much, so I'm probably not going to do that. Um, so yeah, this is probably going to conclude my Crypt of the Necrodancer videos for right now. I hope you enjoy the series, and whenever they do some more updates for it, I'll probably jump back in and see what else there is. So again, thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, you know what? Let me find the shopkeeper once, once more. Where's the shopkeeper? Is there a shopkeeper on this? Nah. You know what? I don't think there is. Darn it! Well, we gotta see the shopkeeper. There we go. Although I guess it would be a little bit before. <laughs> I should time this out better. To be like, oh, and thanks for watching, and we'll go out on the uh, shopkeeper. Oh yeah, well, we'll just stay up here. Come on, shopkeeper. Let, let us hear it one more time. So again, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> this is actually what happens when you move against Shopkeeper. I've never done it before. I will see you um, next time. Take care.